I'm James Newcomb, Program Director at Rocky Mountain Institute. I'm Lena Hansen. I'm a principal with the Rocky Mountain Institute's electricity practice. I think it's a really important signal that coal in the U.S., especially new coal, really doesn't have much of a future. And it's only one of many signals, right? The EPA has produced a variety of regulations in the past, and also renewables are getting cheaper, we're more interested in energy security. All these things are really leading towards a future that has much, much less coal in, in it. RMI's vision of the future is one that is highly efficient and also highly renewable. We actually think that it's possible to have an electricity system that's 80% renewable, including wind, sun, geothermal, biomass, all those things. And definitely natural gas will have a role to play, especially in facilitating the integration of wind and of solar. But it has to be smaller in the future if we really want to meet international climate targets. And we think that's possible. When we look at the supply future for electricity, it's clear that natural gas can play a role. But in order to meet long-term objectives for carbon emissions reductions, we'll have to turn principally to renewable sources of generation. Gas will be a part of that portfolio, helping to balance supply and demand in the short term. But the principal source of supply for the future, a future that's both resilient and robust over the next three, four, five decades, are likely to be a portfolio of renewable supplies. There's plenty of momentum today in new renewable generation, both wind and solar and plenty of evidence of substantial cost reduction, both from the, what's happened in recent years and what's likely to be in the pipeline with new technology adoption. The question looking forward in the mid to long term is can we adapt the playing field? Can we adapt utility business models and regulation in a way that really opens up the landscape for even greater integration of renewables? At RMI, we're really working hard to develop solutions to a lot of the barriers that are slowing progress towards our future vision of a more efficient and renewable electricity system. And so we're working on the technical issues, the economic issues, but perhaps more importantly, we're working on the institutional and regulatory issues that really dominate this sector and really slow it down. So we're collaborating very closely with stakeholders from around the industry, with utilities, with solar companies, with customers, with regulators, to try and develop new ideas and solutions that can be practical, can be implementable, can be cost effective, that really can help accelerate the transformation of the US electricity system.